to instead riding a lot of twin fins is Josh Kerr. So Josh Kerr, just before we, we we started the video, you were saying to me that originally he was he was known for his airs, and then he went into twin fins, which is the almost like the opposite way around that most people have done it. Yeah, so there was a um, an air tour that Josh was on, and he actually did really well and won a whole bunch of contests. Then he qualified for the WQS and CT, mm -hmm. and went on tour for a while. Um, since retiring. He has jumped on to some twin fins from Album Matt and has been absolutely tearing the bag out of it. Yes. He spent a, a while in the mentor eyes with his daughter, Sierra, and the two of them have been going nuts. Yep. And I'd love just to jump into it and explain it all. Yeah, so before we bring up the iPad screen, if you haven't already done so, head over to the website onb.co. We have got a free four-week program that you can download. There is Clayton's Encyclopedia of surfing this is Clayton's original document that is the that is the the core for what Ombi has now become so head to the web, website ombi.co make sure that you sub, well don't subscribe you just enter in your email and we'll be sending that straight through to you but let's jump into the iPad let's bring up Josh Kerr so check this out he's in in the in the mentor eyes and it's some solid waves and he's riding a twin fin not only is he riding a twin but he's going ham on it look at this what like absolutely insane and super super comfortable. Oh, this was the one. <laughs> this was the one that well, the, the first time I watched. Oh, I watched that. It actually made my ass my ass cheeks clench <laughs> because I was just like, oh, if that, if that was me in that position, I would have been. I'd be like, oh. Yeah. But the thing about barrel riding, you want to get your ear as close as you can to this part of the wave here. To that, get your ear right on that. Mm. So to do that. Again, there's a certain amount of leaning happening. Can you see how he's on his toe edge? Yeah. Okay. By staying on your toe edge, you can maintain a line through the barrel. If you are standing up dead straight, your board would want to slide down to where it fits, which is the flat part of the wave. And that's when you get lipped in the head and decapitated and the lip blows up and all bad things happen. Right. So by staying on your toe edge or engaging the rails, you get great control. Look at, the, look at the bottom what turn. About lean? Look at that. It is insane. That is what CT surfing does. It makes you surf critical. He's coming from almost behind the phone. Yeah. And then watch what he does up here. This is okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop, stop. Go back. Okay. So look at the angle. He's leaning right over, right? Yeah. His head's down almost in line with the board. Watch this next angle. Watch this. He's upside down. Yeah, uh, his bum is so low down. Like he's in, in like a V-shape. Okay, so if I go back to here, so over there, I'm going to draw where his head is. Okay, now on the bottom turn, his board was, where's another color? He's almost like his board is there. Sorry, there. And then when he top turned, all right, his board is there. And he's like a pendulum swinging between these two. Okay. You see that? It's like his head stays yeah. in one place. Yeah. He goes, boom, upside down. Bottom turns, leans over. Yeah. So between that, that's what you call rail-to-rail -rail surfing, where there's no flat transitions. Mm. So the rail game on Josh Kerr is really, really good now. And I think that's part due to riding the twin fins where you have to keep it on rail. Oh, he's just going to town. He's, he's making like... Old twin fin surfing just look ridiculous. Okay, so 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 take away for the minute. Oh, look at that! Look at look at that thing. He looks cut. He looks cool as a cucumber. Yeah. Like really relaxed, nicely stacked there. See how he's pointing his knees where he wants to go. Let's zoom into this. It's a really good photo. Go. Okay, hands pointing forward. Yeah. So the hand-eye coordination's on point, but the bottom half of his body is also pointing forward. So his body is leading that board really, really well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... All right, so do you want to start working on some takeaways then? Well, yeah, so look, we've already got one, which was the, 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 the idea around if you want to try and get into a barrel on a wave, you need to try and get your ear 
on that wave. So, so yeah, a little so bit of a lean engaging yeah. the rail and tail wedge, yep. Then then the next thing was that was that idea of being like a pendulum. So you got the, so you're moving around, you're using your, your head almost as as that fulcrum point, that pivot point. Yeah. And you're trying to bring your legs above and then at the bottom you're leaning over. Well I don't think I'm explaining that. Each of those well. positions Let me bring you up full screen a second. Go. Okay. So if I'm leaning over, there's there's less I'm not standing on the board and there's less friction on the bottom of the board, so the board actually accelerates, which means that when Josh Kerb bottom turns, he accelerates. Mm. Then when he hits the top of the wave, not only is there less friction and he's accelerating, but the wave is also hitting the bottom of the board, which is helping him throughout the turn. Yeah. Okay, so he's getting less friction plus the wave pushing on the bottom, pushing him down the wave again, giving mm. him more speed. So let me bring the iPad back up again. Oh, so look this is, at this, is, this. This is quite a big wave. It's solid. It's like three times overhead. Lean, lean, lean. Oh, look at this. Oh, my word. That thing is that thing's a monster. Okay, so here Josh Kerr is going frontside on possibly a three times overhead wave, a basket barrel, <laughs> leading through the barrel, holding a cup of coffee. Phenomenal. Whoa. Oh, look how smooth that was a and big, long that, that bottom turn but is. He held that lean for a real long time as well then. Look at the knee kiss. Passing the cup of coffee. He's just setting up for a barrel, waiting, waiting, leaning. Oh, didn't quite get it. Oh, look at this. A oh, grab rail. The thing that I'm noticing about Josh Kerr is that he's got that back arm up. Yeah. And it doesn't move much. When he wants to get more speed, he pushes it forward. So there's, there's similarities between um, Rob Machado, whose knees were kissing. Yep. You can see Rob, uh, Josh Kerr doing a similar thing. Rob Machado's hand was up, Josh Kerr's hands up. The difference is, um, I think the rail work on Josh Kerr is a little bit more radical on these boards. Okay, yeah. Um, with the airs that he does, where he hits the top of wave, it's a lot more sort of modern type of surfing, even though he's riding twin fins. Yeah. So I absolutely love Josh Kerr surfing here. So, so just thinking now, if somebody was about to go out surfing, what what could they take away? What could they they go right? I just watched Josh Kerr. We're well, next time I'm going out surfing. This is what I need to try. What what could they be looking at? Okay, so what Josh didn't do was pivot turns. He didn't go down the bottom, swing the arm back, and try to pivot the board because it would have slid out. Mm -hmm. What he does do is he. He's riding in clean, good waves, and he's leaning. He's leaning on the bottom turn, he's getting inverted on the top turn. Yeah. And then he's riding those turns out smoothly. There's no wild, wavy arms. It's just clean, precise, controlled. So, so yeah, so a, a good thing to try here, I would say then, for the, that we can take away from Josh Kerr, is try to lean for longer, but also, Try to move the arms less and be very deliberate in the movements that you do actually do with your arms. So I find a lot of people stand up straight and then over move the arms, where Josh Kerr's hands are up, but he's just leaning. Yeah. And he's leaning. So um, the arms aren't waving. It's actually he's, he's using his body to move the arms. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've got a twin fin, now could be a time to go out and grab it and... Uh, get on rail. Get, uh, get on rail and uh, practice keeping your coffee nice and still.